I feel like I'm always a tall one because I have a tall back. Oh, I have a tall back. Oh, yeah, we're, we're, we're perfect back. for this. <laughs> you and I are perfect for this. <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Karima Can't Do Hair But Tries Very, Very Hard. Today, we have a guest. Hi, everyone. This is Christina, and Christina can absolutely do hair. I, I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that Christina's pinch was famous. <laughs> you will absolutely recognize the back of her head. Yeah. So what are we doing today, Christina? Uh, we're gonna do three quick hairstyles. Pretty much everything I do on hair romance is fast and you can do it in dirty hair because that's how I roll. And today we're gonna do three easy hairstyles you can do for every day in under five minutes. Actually, probably in under two minutes. Under two minutes. And my hair is just natural, no styling here whatsoever. So this is for the hair noobs like myself. Three hairstyles in under three minutes. Done. Okay, so the first style is sort of an elegant updo. How would you describe this? It's sort of, it's a little bit known as a Gibson roll, but basically it's this really simple tuck that creates a low bun style. So we parted Karima's hair and then we pulled it all back into a low ponytail. The next step is to move the ponytail elastic a little bit down, maybe an inch or a couple of centimeters, move it down the ponytail to create some space. Then you want to make a little hole just above the hair elastic, which you're going to make a little pocket where we're going to stuff the rest of your hair in. So once you've got that little pocket ready, start rolling up your hair and then tuck it in. And then what you want to do is once it's all tucked in, is have a bobby pin ready and push the bobby pin in through your hair elastic and then connect the little roll up to the rest of your hair. Um, you want to make sure you put one pin through your hair elastic because that will add extra hold as you're holding the roll up. Oh, top tip. Yeah. And then if you want to just pin at the sides, you can just reshape it and add in any pieces where it's sitting a little bit loose. So hairstyle number two is a braid within a braid. And this looks really cool when you kind of pull out that braid and volumize it. You want to start by picking a little section of hair right in the middle, and that's going to be your braid. Because it's a side braid, we don't want to start too high. So you want to start this around about ear level and keep braiding all the way down to the end. When you get the end to the end, you can secure it with an elastic just to hold it in place for now. Now we're going to do the main braid. So split the rest of your hair into two sections and the little braid is your third section. But the tip is always cross the front section over first. That's going to give you the nicest shape of your hair against your face. This was game changing for me. I would constantly take the back section over first and I could never quite figure out why my braid was sitting like awkwardly. I get it now. Yeah, always the front section first, then the back and then the little plait. And just keep braiding those together as you would a normal three strand braid. Now we're going to uh, really create some impact and put more volume into your hair by stretching out the braid. You want to always be holding the end of your braid and pulling with the other hand. Now leave the little braid alone. We're going to just pull at the two sections of, of hair that's part of this three strand braid. I love that little detail of the little braid in there. I think that makes all the difference. It's so simple and it really, you don't need any extra skills. If you can do a three strand braid, this adds in a little detail. Hairstyle number three is a super easy braided bun. I think this one looks like really complex and like really intricate, but it's so easy. So what's our first step? Our uh, first step is to put all your hair up into a high ponytail. Um, exactly where you like to put it. I usually like to put it right up on the crown of my head so I can have a really high bun that you can see from the front. Next, you want to split your ponytail into three and create a normal braid. Then of course, don't forget to stretch your braid. You want to make your hair look as thick as possible. So really pull at the braid and stretch it to make it look wider. So what we did with your hair is actually wrapped it around to create a bun. But in shorter hair like mine, I can do this style by folding the braid and pinning it in place. So we've wrapped our braid around the base of the ponytail. We've got this beautiful braid. Now, how do you get it to the same place? So that's where you use our bobby pins. I like to tuck the end of the braid under and then take your bobby pin, pick up a little bit of hair of the braid and then push it in to the rest of your hair to hold it in place. This really is a super quick and simple style. You can even do two or three braids if you want to create more of a textured style, but one braid that's been stretched out creates a really beautiful bun. I really hope that you guys enjoyed those three very easy tutorials. Go check out Christina on her YouTube channel. Thanks, I'm at Hair Romance and also at hairromance.com. I will have all of her links in the description box. Thank you. We also filmed a little something for Christina's channel, but you'll go have to have a look at that to see what There'll it be is. There'll a link below for you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye. No, I say bye bye. I've got to do that again. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day and I will speak to you all very soon. Bye bye. Bye. No, I've got to do that once more. <laughs> I hope you have a wonderful day and we will speak to you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Let us know which one you like best in the comments below. <laughs>
<laughs> I was doing some really shit. <laughs> if you would like to see more about, no, I don't want to say if, when you want to see. <laughs> yeah, you may not want to. If you didn't enjoy them, please don't come over. <laughs> you definitely want to go. Okay.